So how's it going everybody? My name is Armando and welcome back to you another know, Dead Frontier 3D video. So guys, shout out to Meme Jeek, he's on YouTube. I saw his video through my Discord server. I was just, you know, looking through the general and he posted it not too long ago. And honestly, he does a great job of explaining what's going to happen in the next update for the Frontier 3D. Fast, efficient, not too long talking and it just gets straight to the point. So without further ado, let's just react to it. I don't want to make a 10 minute video and explaining this. I want my boy Meme Jeek here to explain it for me, okay? So without further ado, let's get right into it. Hello everyone. Clayton recently officially announced the new update for Dead Frontier 3D in the official Discord server. There's been a lot of questions and misconceptions, and this video I'm hopefully going to clear some things up. All of the official information I got from Clayton's own Discord server and the official Dead Frontier Discord server. First of all, there will be no new outpost, and the majority of content in this update will be in the wasteland. Ah uh, man, the wasteland? Oh uh, man, I mean... Reason being why I have irks with the wasteland is because I've been there before and it's just an empty, empty vast of nothingness. But if he's saying that there's going to be more content in the wasteland making it more of a reason to go there, then I guess that's okay. I mean, not only that, but we have the pre 13 right there. So if you die, you can always just go back, you know, and just reload it again. So, yeah, I mean, I guess it's not that bad. Aiming to make the area a bit more interesting. Three new infected and a whole new type of enemy called the bandits which moved through the wasteland, driving the new zombie variants into the inner city. Mm. The Basically, the banners are now nice and moved through the wasteland, driving the new Zed variants towards the towards Fairview. Oh, okay, they make hideouts as temporary bases as well as the other scenery players will run into. So, basically, they came from other cities or um, some other areas, and they actually brought these new bosses into the Fairview inner city. I guess that's what he's trying to say. If I got that wrong, I apologize. I'm just trying to make this, just trying to understand this as fast as I can, but... Yeah, and moved through the wasteland driving the new Z virus towards Fairview. Mm. Hideouts as bases, where they will probably be most commonly found. One of these structures is seen here in this picture. Mm. Bandits will spawn in the wasteland and in a city. And Are the bandits going to be, yeah, and stuff like Marksman's, or is there going to be a tier system for color zone? Tiered. Ah. The gear will be determined by what zone they are found in. Okay. However, not confirmed if the outposts will spawn in the inner city. Mm. It is also confirmed that the bandits will drop loot. Alright, so that's cool. So I'm guessing, um... You know, I, I had a hunch. I'm like, there's no way these guys aren't going to drop, you know, goodies. Because, you know, in real life, you know, if you kill someone, you're obviously going to kill their freaking... You're going to take their freaking loot or whatever they have on them. So, I, I, I'm actually excited to see how they're going to perform and how they're going to attack. And just to see how, you know, difficult it's going to be to take one of these guys down, you know. I mean, obviously, if you have a Wraith Cannon, you should be okay. Or if you have a long shot or, you know, a Desert, desert Rat, you should be all okay. But, yeah, I mean, other than that, I, I'm actually excited to see what the lower tier players will be able to, will be able to handle these guys. I'm personally interested to see what PvP looks like with no sync issues when fighting the bandits. Oh, that's true. Yeah, there no longer will be any sync issues because they're actually an NPC. Oof. Good catch, meme cheek. The new Reaper will be a souped up version of the regular Reaper with mm -hmm. longer range, more speed, and higher damage. The right shield zombie looks like a regular police officer with just an invincible shield in front of it blocking all incoming damage. This zombie will be vulnerable to damage when swinging, uh, so you can bait it out. Oh, okay, so he's gonna take his shield and just, you know, expose his body when he attacks you, and therefore you can easily kill him. But at the meantime, if you can't, he's gonna be an annoying guy. More more, more annoying than the freaking green rumblers when they blow up. I always hate the green rumblers, especially when you're grinding, because, you know, you gotta be careful where you shoot. If you kill them in the... At the worst time, they're gonna do a lot, a lot of damage. Oh, look, guys, I can hear my cat scratching the door. Give me one second. What are you doing? Yeah, man, cats are a little annoying. <laughs> which will make fighting them a bit easier. Finally, the Black Leaper. There's been a lot of people saying that it's just a regularly occurring zombie. No, that is incorrect. The big Black Leaper will be a boss. It has the same speed as a Black Titan, but knockback as of a Flaming Giant Spider. Oh, so he's not gonna be that hard to take down. If you ever fought a Black Titan, granted on my account, he's like, you know, he's just basically walking speed when I fight him. He's not really that scary. But seeing that it's the wasteland and there's aggro and aggro on top of aggro, he's gonna be very annoying. And the aggro in the wasteland never dies. I don't know if you guys knew that. It never dies. Once you have aggro, it's there until you die or you run out of bullets. I mean, well, yeah, you die. <laughs> Found in a wasteland and maybe in the inner city. The old gif of the leader. Wait, 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 wait. Was that the sack on his back explodes? Oh man, that's gonna be annoying. So I just have to be as far as I can from it because if that hits me. I don't think my 300 out of 300 Dusk Reactive is going to be able to put up with that explosion. Yeesh. Leaper will be a boss, found in a wasteland and maybe in the inner city. The old gif of the Leaper crawling on all fours was just an inspiration for this boss, and it will not leap like in the gif. Mm. The Leaper boss will also have a unique attack where it explodes a sack on its back. 
This attack will be long, and in that duration, the boss will be immune to all knockback. Flash is gone. Uh, so no knockback. So even if you have a Wraith Cannon or whatever, or a Gal 19, there's no knockback. So this guy, this guy is just going to keep running through. Again, like a Black Titan. You ever fought a Black Titan in the past? It's the same thing. It, it can't be knocked back by a Wraith Cannon or anything that has a knockback. It's, it's just impossible. Maybe till when it's close to death, because that's when they start losing their, like, defensive uh, shield or whatever they have, and then they start, you know, getting knocked back by any little bullet they get hit by. So I guess that would make sense. Harold's confirmed that we are switching to HTML next update. Mm. However, I don't know if by next update he's referring to. All right, so Flash is finally gone. Thank Christ. I mean, I was getting nervous because I was like, "Yo, Flash is confirmed to be gone by this December. If there's no Flash, what are we gonna do?" But it's gonna be moved to HTML. So I'm, I'm kind of excited to see how it's gonna turn out. This update or the one after that? Either way, it's good to finally switch from Flash. Three new armors confirmed. Oh, 80% absorption. That looks like a, the top one looks like a mesh. The middle one looks like a dusk, well not a dusk reactive, but exterminate reactive, just beefed up. And the third one, well, it just looks like they got metal pieces and put them together. <laughs> but wow, 380 durability. Dur okay, so this one is a beefed up, yeah, I was right. It was a beefed up uh, mesh, you know, the ones that don't need strength. This one looks like a beefed up reactive. Damn, dude, I'm, I think I'm gonna have to get rid of my reactive. I just love the way it looks. Admin Pwn was also seen wearing the Exterminator mm. reactive armor on his account. There are also rumors of more items being added that have So see, this is why I love Clayton. He knows how the game works, he knows how the community is, so he's like, yeah, I'm not gonna show you guys anything because I know how you guys are gonna destroy the market. Every, every time there's something announced early, dude, bullets go ham. Items go ham. Like I remember one time when the freaking FM Metro was part of the, you know, the hair razor. That thing was 250k or one mil in the and like at one point. It was just it was insane how much people were selling these FM Metros more. Only cause the hair razor were coming out. Alright? So yeah, good good job, Clayton. I love that for you. I love it. Not being announced yet. Wasteland PvP is gone. Oh, oh, oh it's gone. Okay, that's good. Dude, the only thing I hated about the wasteland is cause First of all, sync sucks, alright? The sync sucks in the wasteland. Uh, every time you see someone there and they automatically have PvP, the aggro now is invincible and now they are teleporting everywhere and their bullets are hitting you and you don't want to fight them, it's just, it just happens. Yeah, the fact that it's gone now and hopefully I can go to single player, dude, perfect. Hospital and bunker redesign to make looting quicker and easier. Nice. Clayton is also rebalancing some spawns, like decreasing the spawn rate of sirens in the way. Well, waste an aggro next time infinite. Can you end it in the upcoming update? Aggro works the same way, more or less. I just decrease iron spawn rate, though, to give looting more viability. A nice inner city aggro was rebalanced, though. Less random aggro. Okay, yeah, because I always said this, because even if you make no, no noise with a melee weapon, you will always encounter random aggro. People could be like, oh, it's a boss, or no, nah, you just made a lot of noise. No, it, it just happens. Go to single player, loot for an hour or so, and you're going to find yourself in a situation where you just hit by a hundred zombies for the next hour because you know aggro <laughs> wasteland they are aiming to release the update on monday mm. but it might get delayed to friday okay i'm pretty sure that was it if anything new shows up i'll let you guys know asap thanks for watching i'll see you later all right so thank you for that beautiful video meme jig i just want to say something real quick uh if it comes out monday that's awesome you know we all want everything as quick as we can but if it comes out next week on friday i still have no i still have nothing bad to say about it because i always said it's best it's best to you know take your time on something than to rush it because when it's rushed it loses kind of that hype that it came out with so yeah take your time guys i mean so far everything looks amazing the wasteland finally have more life brought into it i mean yes priesting 13 is there but if i can loot in there for a long period of time i.e you know like barricade somewhere or you know use the bandits outpost as a way to kind of like fix my armor and whatnot that'd be amazing granted only the best of the best will be in that wasteland which kind of sucks for the lower tier levels because many people wanted to experience the updates i mean you guys can still experience it you can go in there it's just gonna be hard you know you need strong level 110 120 weapons and in order to survive there you just need a lot of bullets trust me like i said i'm, I'm i was fortunate enough to find fear of the perfect dark that helped me achieve the x dusk enforcer the wraith cannon and if it wasn't for them honestly i don't think i would have gone to the wasteland period because i don't think i could survive <laughs> i mean i think i just have to save up for a gallon 19 and hope for the best and buy a lot of bullets because trust me the wasteland consumes a lot of bullets like i said thankfully i have two un unlimited weapons and i'm able to survive with that but for everybody else that wants to experience this experience this update you know you still can it's just gonna be very very tough but hey guys again big shout out to meme jeek he did a great job on this video nice quick and yeah what do you guys think is this gonna be worth it is this the right path to take and do you think clayton has even more surprises stored up for us but yeah guys that's all i have this is armando signing out and i'll see you guys in the next one take it easy bye